mastery cores. You guys probably heard quite a bit about it already. Let's dive in. MS Preview's new six job mastery cores have been released in the test server. You should remember that these are still in testing and both the visuals and the numerical values can be changed in the future. They will be released in the official server on January 18th. These are three weeks out. So about three weeks left for them. Thank you, Max. For that. Have, thank you for keeping me grounded. Do you have additional patches? Uh, there's probably going to be at least one more that includes new events. Yes, yes. All right, let's see. Hero. All right, looking fresh. All of the weapons. Slam down all of them. R Rage Uprising. Because they're coming from above and crashing down. Uprising. Got it. Manifest the Asian warriors rage to destroy enemies in front of you. Pass effect raging blow, six is damage increased by 148% points. Ooh la la. Four strikes deal 254 damage eight times and up to 10 enemies. 10 second cooldown. Paladin, bonk. This is the bonkiest skill I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> divine charge six. Instantly summon a divine hammer to slam down on enemies, dealing damage and silencing them. Every few seconds, a divine hammer will receive the protection of light, enhancing it to divine stigma. <laughs> stigma, you say? watch the movie Spotlight. That's about a divine stigma. Consumes 40 MP, deals 724% damage, four times up to 11 enemies. 100% chance to silence for 10 seconds. Mm. Consume 55 MP for divine stigma, deals 420% damage. Seven times I'm up to 10 enemies. Reactivation cooldown of six seconds. Mm. Looks interesting. And there's the divine stigma. Oh, that's a slightly bigger. And every six seconds? <whistles> okay. And then deal 749 seven times. Oh, that's a 13 enemies, 100% chance of silence for 10 seconds. Wait, I don't understand. You use this attack, and then every six seconds you get like an empowered version of it, right? Which is this empowered version. So what is what are these stats here, and what are these stats here? Yeah, stream elements combo is not a great system. That's Divine Stigma 6, and this is Divine Stigma 6. I don't understand what this is and what this is. Is it the actual explosion, and then this is the initial hit? Huh. Okay, I guess we'll see you later. Uh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! What is uh, that? Is it Mjolnir? Is it Mjolnir? Meow meow? Falling justice. Deliver righteous judgment with divine power. With a holy force. When a holy force skill hits an enemy, summon a hammer of judgment. It deals 2,250% damage four times and up to eight enemies for 2.52 seconds. A single enemy can be hit up to a maximum of 15 times. Reactivation cooldown of 30 seconds. Yo, this looks cool. Continuous damage for 2.52 seconds, but 30 second cooldown, okay. Ooh. Are these empowered versions of mobbing skills ever worth using off cooldown on bossing scenarios? They very well might be, yeah. Like weaving them in whenever they're available? That's probably, that. I imagine that damage wise that would be, uh, would be worth it, yeah. This isn't a mastery core? 
Uh, this one isn't, no. This is technically an origin skill. Uh, it'll be like a passive one. What is it? The mastery of? Uh, I don't know all the paladin skills. I don't think there's anything that drops down a hammer like that. You think they're getting their second origin? That's possible, yeah. I mean, I imagine not everyone gets all the things at the same time, right? But, uh, oh, Ark got an extra passive as well, right? In the first one that was kind of like, looked like it seemed like it was an origin, but it's not. So this is probably the same thing. Uh, Dark Knight, Dark Impale 6. Even more impalement. Stab your spear quickly enough to be invisible to attack multiple... Well, I mean, I can see it right there. Uh, enemies in front of you. Every few seconds you can use Dark Bident. Bident? Boundant? To sweep through enemies with a spear imbued with the power of darkness. 5, 6, 8, 6 times 8 enemies. Every 6 seconds skill is enhanced to Dark Bident. Oh la la. Sweepity swipe. Nice swiping. Cover your spear in the power of darkness with a wide swing. Consume 57 MP deals 586 seven times up to 12 enemies. And then dark synthesis six. Look at that. That skill looks hot. Giant rock hard spears. Look at that. These are some cool ass animations. Uh, unlock the power of darkness, sleep in within you to sweep through nearby enemies. In addition, Gunnar's Descent 6 is permanently enhanced. Damage is increased by 129% points. So similar to, uh, to the hero. <coughs> so they both get passive enhancements and then the Paladin gets the extra passive uh, hammer dropping down every 30 seconds. 594 damage 10 times up to 10 enemies cooldown of 10 seconds. Ooh. The bind skill and auto proc. Um, yeah, every six seconds this skill is enhanced. So if you use the same skill, you'll get this skill instead of this skill going off. Yeah, very similar to like if you have a um, fifth job for Arc, fifth job for Kaiser, uh, fifth job for shade you know a bunch of classes have it and because six job is going to be so big and they don't want everyone to have like 16 million keys for their keyboard pretty much everyone is going to have some of those passive empowerments i think at least one probably two or three to make sure that you don't have to have even more keyboard space taken who angelic buster has it as well i think yeah uh let's see fire poison arc mage Ooh. Ooh. I feel bad for people with the red, green color blindness though, because this all looks like the same color to them. <laughs> people be looking at this and they're like, what is this gray blob? That's all like the same color. Flame Haze 6, envelop the enemy in a burning poison cloud, making them untouchable. Oh, untouchable. Inflicting DOT and slowing them. Oh, slow DOT and untouchable. Not that untouchable is necessary anymore, because, you know, Saren nerfs, but... 83 MP deals 335% damage 15 times, 100% inflict dot, it deals 325 damage per second, makes them untouchable, slows them by 50% for 10 seconds. If an enemy is hit, create a poison mist at that enemy's location. If there's no enemy hit, they create the poison mist at your own location. Okay. And then Mist Eruption 6. Ooh. Ooh la la. Dude, I like these new animations. They're, like, obviously more involved and like more complicated but they're not super over the top that it feels like it's a different game it's still maple Story, so i like that they went like classy yet upgraded you know uh explode nearby install poison mist inflicting deadly poison you can explode other people's install poison mist duh not affected by cooldown reset effect if a mist is definitely exploded flame haze's cooldown will be reset uh, activate two explosions, deal 215% damage 10 times, up to 12 enemies with additional 45% defense, ignore, boom. Explosion's final damage is increased by the number of dots applied to the targets. 20% for two, 55% for three, 104% for four, and 170% per, for five. Mm-hmm. Explode up to six mists at the same time. Cooldown 10 seconds. If misterruption is an enemy with five or more dots applied, misterruption's cooldown will be decreased by two seconds. This cooldown... 
uh, reduction will be applied first before other cooldown reduction effects. Oh, not affected by cooldown reset effects, but, but by cooldown reduction effects. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Archmage Ice Lightning. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is, pre that is pretty hypnotic to just stare into. A little bit light mode, but... I dig it. Frozen Orb 6. Creeper was over the scatters ice shards and throw it towards... Forward, sorry, to deal ice elemental damage to nearby enemies. The orb will slow down significantly if it hits a boss and monster. If it reaches the end of a platform, it will fall and continue moving. If it hits an enemy using damage reflex, you will not take damage. 428% damage and up to 8 enemies at a level 30. Cooldown of 5 seconds. Let's just throw it out there. And then, ooh... I, it looks weaker. They look like Q-tips. <laughs> no. Does it look like Q-tips are just falling out of the sky? Am I? <laughs> I, I'm, I know I'm weird, but anyone else see Q-tips? Like on the <laughs> before it disappears. Um, ice spears. Oh, that's what they are. Fall from the sky to create a powerful ice elemental attack or physical attack. There's a certain chance per enemy for Blizzard to fall and deal damage. Sure. Lightning Sphere is permanently enhanced. 133% on the finish and 26% points on the continuous damage. Ooh. We use a directly at attacking skill. There's a 60% chance per enemy for Blizzard to fall, dealing 400% damage. Oh, it's like a passive on top of it. Hmm. And that's what those extra effects are. Gotcha. Okay. Bishop. Ooh. Look at that. Cleanse. Triumphant Feather. The Angel of Victory's power descends. During the buff, when your skills hit an enemy, Angel Wing Feathers are created to chase and attack nearby enemies. When your own directly attacking skills hit an enemy, create six Angel Wing Feathers that deal 620 damage four times. Wing Feather recreation cooldown of three seconds. And a cooldown of 60 seconds on a three minute. Wait. 180 second duration, 60 second cooldown. Is this the one that you can have up multiple times or do you just keep refreshing it? You're not going to have 18 angel wings out, right? Or feathers? Why does the song sound like it's slowing down? Okay, that seems pretty good. Big Bang 6, spread divine power in a wide range then explode it to attack every few seconds the divine power fills up only get to motivate a divine explosion in a wider range big bang and divine explosion are holy element attacks use command key you can only activate divine explosion by using the skill together with the up arrow key divine explosion damn 800% damage 4 times and up to 10 enemies, and Divine Explosion 7, 15% damage 6 times and up to 12 enemies. Reactivation cooldown 6 seconds. Big Bang and Divine Explosion damage is increased by 50% when attacking normal monsters. Nuking him. Okay. Bow Monster. There it is. The Arrow Blaster. Arrow Platter? Arrow Blaster for us, right? With the install. Yep, yep, yep. 530% damage and up to 4 enemies. Press Harvest NPC. Check it out. Fast arrows for 40%. Damage installed arrow platter cooldown of five seconds. And then what is this arrow stream or something, right? Yes, he fires a countless number of arrows forwards. Because they're uncountable, yeah. Wait, they are countless or uncountable? Um every few seconds your concentration increases, activating an enhanced uncountable arrows. And arrows, yes. 
Enhanced uncountable arrows fires even more arrows. Even more than uncountable. Oh my god. Flowing with wind to blow away enemies. Uh, you can use the command key, but you get... Yeah, so it's like an empowerment for many a skill. There's an extra 650% damage five times and up to 12 enemies. But that's six seconds again. And passive effect advanced final attacks damage is increased by 320% points. Ooh la. Mamo is even more free. Marksman. That one looked pretty cool in the animation. Almost like perma split shot. <laughs> piercing six. Right? Piercing uh, increases in damage every time it pierces through an enemy. And that's what I was saying. Enhanced arrow is prepared for the second piercing used. And an ultimate arrow can be activated for the fourth piercing use. Wow, look at that. But why does the arrow kind of look like you're holding your crossbow sideways? Are we going like sideways crossbow style? 55% damage five times up to eight enemies each time the arrow pierces through an enemy. The final damage is increased by 15%. The damage boost is applied multiplicatively. An arrow fragments will appear near the first enemy hit and deal 595 four times up to three enemies. 15% per target boosted. Final multiplicatively. And you can hit up to eight enemies. Remember back in the olden times when you had the you could charge the you could charge a skill for marksman and you can hit like damage numbers above the max damage cap as the only class in the game. There's some old marksman stuff. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, and hunting piercing deals six seventy percent damage six times up to ten enemies. The arrow will explode when it reaches the point where it disappears, dealing four twenty five percent damage ten times up to ten enemies. Yeah, and again, this is just piercing, but this is piercing that builds up as you use it more. So I don't know. That probably doesn't mean that you're going to be using piercing when you're when you're bossing though. And an ultimate piercing. 680% damage, 6 times up to 10 enemies. It's barely stronger, but then the arrow will explode when it reaches a point. Dealing for 40% damage, 10 times up to 10 enemies. Passive effect, sniping 6 is damage is increased by 60% points. And hunt sniping 6 is da damage is increased by 120% points. And hunt sniping 6 additional hits damage is increased by 60% points. Ultimate sniping 6 is by 6 point. It just passively boosts every fucking thing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, not yet, Imagine Fire. Hopefully that's soon, sh either... Yeah, most likely uh, most likely after uh, New Age first one. Pathfinder! Will they continue their W? Let's see. Cardinal Tischar. I love that word. Fire Guider... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fire is uh, 475 damage, 5 times of 7 enemies. Ooh. An additional, so it's uh, Cardinal... Um, it's, what are the, oh god, what are the Pathfinder skills called again? Deluge, right? Deluge, yeah. Del, it looks huge. Del looks huge, can't lie. The song goes hard. Uh, additional, additional discharge. So, cardinal, cardinal secondary, whatever. Fuck. Uh, but so it's not emblem. There's a 45% to create four magical arrows. Create two enemies for uh, enemies for two seconds. Do 275 damage three times. Bountiful deluge. Is that the name? If single enemies hit by multiple magic arrows at the same time. The second and later magic arrows fire damage is decreased by 30%. Okay. Um, I mean, this is one of their main. Damaging skill, so I bet they're not mad. Plus, the last one was was pretty good already. So, just building upon that. But they're not getting a whole bunch of passive damage increasing like all the other classes have so far. But now the macro is yeah. Now the macro is fully empowered, right? So that's gotta feel pretty good. Night Lord, what is that? Mark of the Assassin Six. Gotcha. When attacking enemies, there's a chance to inflict an assassin's mark. Bloody bloody blah. Uh, there's reskill toggle skill. When attacking, there is a 65% chance to inflict an assassin's mark. 
When you attack that enemy again, three throwing stars are created that deal four sixty percent damage. Well, that should be some nice overall damage increase to everything, because Assassin's Mark are part of their damage everywhere. Not the, not the craziest gains by the looks of it, but, you know, Nightlord not quite suffering right now, so they'll just have to deal with deal with that. Oh, what is this? Some 60 FPS animations? Ayo. Got a bunch of thieves just whoosh, rushing off into the night. Mez Explosion 6 attacks enemies by moving the coins dropped from pickpocket. Each coin does 240% damage two times on one enemy. Up to 10 enemies can be hit and up to 15 coins can be used at one time. Whoo! And then Bloody Explosion attacks enemies by moving the coins drop from Bloody Explosion. 240, the same. And then damage is increased by 40% when attacking boss monsters. When you cast the skill, acquire the Murderous Intent buff. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if Shadowers um, are right now a feeling the Mesa Explosion not hitting quite as hard. Maybe in Carcion, I guess? Because we've been over-funded for a long time in Reboot and GMS at least. And with the new regions coming out, but at the same time, we had the HP going to non-Reboot levels, right? So, I haven't really heard a lot of people like suffering with the Assassin's Mark or with the Mezzo Explosions and that kind of stuff, not being able to kill properly, but I guess this will keep up the killing speed and help a lot with bossing, of course. Okay, a dual blade, oh, there's an owl in there. Hoot hoot. A lot of scratching, Asura 6. Roger Rebelly and annihilate enemies and sometimes not die to things. If Asura hits an enemy with using damage reflect, you will not take damage. You cannot be knocked back by any attack while using Asura. Like, it doesn't say that here, but, like, there are some skills that if you use Asura, you just don't get hit. Like, you don't die to bombs, you don't die to some stuff. Does Mule Guild have the Guild Castle? We do. We are currently trying to build the, um, Enhancement Room. Da, da, da. And we are also, um, for research, we are researching the shop right now that should have the totems on it. So we just started work on that. Um, five seconds, deals 1386% damage five, damage five times and up to 10 enemies with an additional 100% defense ignored. You can move and jump during the skill. If you reuse the skill, it will be cancelled instantly. 60 second cooldown. And passive effect phantom blow six is damage increased by 106% points. Nice. That's pretty solid for DBs. Pretty solid. Viper. Sea Serpent 6. That's the Buccaneer, of course, for the people who don't know. Uh, completely acquired a Sea Serpent's power. Yep, yep, yep. Sea Serpent skills will be enhanced to Sea Serpent Burst 6 and Sea Serpent Enraged 6. Burst 6 will be 860% damage 8 times and up to 8 enemies. With a cooldown of 6 seconds. And then Sea Serpent and Rage 6 will be 870% damage, 6 times and up to 6 enemies. Enemies will be afflicted with Sea Serpent's Mark for 30 seconds. I will take an increased 20% final damage from all of their attacks. Sounds good. Sounds good. 20% final damage for 30 seconds. I like it. I like the little, the little Nautiluses were like, pew, and then the big guy's like, 16,000 cannons coming out. <laughs> it just annihilating anything that was here. Battleship Nautilus, the sixth. Give an attack amount of Battleship Nautilus, attack multiple enemies at the same time. If it's a damage reflect, you will not take damage after learning skill. When you attack with your own directly attacking skills, an additional attack will be activated. Hmm. After learning this skill. Yeah, so that's where it is now, right? Like, people activate it because it gives you more damage on the buck, but you don't actually use the skill because it would just slow you down. Um, deals 888% damage seven times over to 15 enemies. Using, when attack using Summer Salt Kick, Screw Punch, Fist and Range, Fierce Range, Hound Fist, uh, or Liberate Neptunus, there's a 100% chance to activate an additional attack, which is passive, uh, that deals 501% damage two times. Neptunus and Rage will not activate this skill. 
Um, but this is, um, yeah, that's a passive. So that's why this is boosted in a boost notes, but not because you actually activate the skill, but because you want the passive to be leveled up and give more passive damage. Look at these patch notes. Yes, sir. Boom. Yeah, I didn't put it under KMS yet. Let me do that right now. Da, 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 da. Yeah, da, da, da. Boom, it's in there now. Yeah, no problem, Dank. You were you were ahead of me. It's there now. You are the captain ships. Yeah, it seems like they're moving, but they're actually just trying to glide forward back to where they um back to where they were originally. Man, can you oh dude, can we go back to like Corsair a little bit for like ten years <laughs> No, not ten years ago. Probably longer than that. Twelve years ago? Where we were like sitting on our, on our little red Viking ship going, do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do, and now one of our summons is like, I mean, basically the eternal hat imbued with magical gem powers and turned into a boat like. Well, everything is going to be empowered, probably, right? Zero does, doesn't really matter which one they pick. And this one is even getting smaller, tiny side boats, you know? <laughs> to shoot even better, like... We've come such a long way. But skill's looking good. Uh, Battleship Bomber. Bloody, bloody, blah. If you install, they will focus their attacks on that location. Yeah, we know how it works. Summon the battleship for 60 seconds and fires cannonballs periodically. Cooldown of half a second. Uh, the fire can cannonballs will explode when they hit enemies, dealing 840% damage three times with the six enemies. You can summon up to two. If Sign of Bombard is installed, activate a strike that deals 840 damage uh, three times on up to six enemies. Sounds sounds about right. This boat summons more boat. So I got shafted. Is this not good? What is their current damage? Isn't this one of their stronger summons, though, that they use like for on two platforms for mobbing, and that deals like a decent amount of their damage for bossing as well? I mean, yeah, this is why I don't like to go too hard into like the details of like which character got has got like a, a big win and which one didn't, because eventually everyone's six job is all just going to be boosted out the ass, right? Like everyone's stuff is going to be good, but not everyone is going to get there in at the same pace or. Uh, at the well, definitely not at the same time, right? But it's it's good looking boat, okay? Cannon shoot. Okay, what does cannoneer get? I play this character now. I care. <laughs> okay, this guy is spooky. This is a ghastly, basically. Uh, mini cannonball six. Fire an exploding mini cannonball rises upwards and monkey then explodes. Oh, actually, I never use it as this. I just use the the passive mode. The toggle mode, where it just fires all the time. Uh, auto use mode, there it is. Uh, when Cannon Bazooka and Cannon Buster hit an enemy, will char uh, the charge will be consumed to cause an explosion at the location of the enemy. 1,680% damage five times into eight enemies. You will prepare one bomb every four seconds. You can hold up to five. Uh, when used during Cannon Bazooka, there is no cast action. Cooldown of half a second. Hmm. Looks cool though. Looks cool. And Cannon Bazooka 6. And Magnetic Anchor 6. And Battleship Nala 6. Okay. Okay. Got it here. Getting four, the old 4 in 1. Uh, fire Powerful Cannon loaded with a cannonball filled to the brim with Bazooka. Bazooka? That's the attacking skill, right? Am I. Are the G skills here done? Three minutes. Three and a half minutes. Someone applied in the thing. It's the mobbing? Yeah, I was gonna say this looks like the mobbing one, but the No, the mobbing one The mobbing one now looks like you're shooting once and then hitting everything. And then the the barrage, yeah, the barrage looks like it hits multiple times. But this one looks like it's hitting like multiple cannons.
Wait, the fire says yep, and Zakur says it's mobbing. You already got barrage. Well, I d <laughs> not me yet. Okay, I'm I'm still 255. Okay, of 256, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, eight forty percent damage four times up to eight enemies, and then passive effect cannon busters six's damage is increased by two hundred and ninety percent points. Whew. Okay, so do you call that cannon buster then instead of cannon barrage? It's like a bunker buster. Magnetic anchor six install magnetic. Damage reflect not take damage. When it disappears, it'll, it'll explode and inflict fatal damage to nearby enemies. Uh, and so I'm going to anchor for 65 seconds. Uh, and then I'm going to anchor deals 1250% damage on up to 8 enemies and attracts enemies. When it disappears, there's 1100% damage on up to 8 enemies. Well, it definitely looks very different. Almost looks like a, like a two-handed axe kind of thing. And then the old Nautilus ship. 770% damage 5 times out of the 15 enemies. Way weaker than Buccaneer's one for some reason. Uh, but I, yeah, Cannoneer doesn't use this. So it's probably best to just <laughs> package it into another skill. So people don't feel like it's a waste to, to level it up. But that's got to be one. This is one mastery card that just boosts four. Okay. Then Mikhail. Or Mihail, as we have it. Royal Guard 6. Looking sexy. Completely defend against enemy attacks. Are we going to get a 6th charge? No. Oh, I thought because it was Royal Guard 6, maybe we'll go up to an, an extra 6th one. Do like a giant attack. Uh, you can also defend while using your own skills. After using the skill, if you are hit within a certain amount of time, you're invincible for 4 seconds. Uh, after counterattack, your attack is increased for 20 seconds. Yep, yep, yep. While attack is active, it goes up in a timer. Yeah, that nothing, nothing utility changes, right? 1,020% uh, four times with six enemies on the first stack, up to 15, 20, nine times out to 10 enemies, and decrease attack by 45. I will, uh, I will not yield. That's what he says as well, right? <laughs> Same juicing looks pretty good. Then we have the Dawn Warrior. First we have the Papalatus Clock. Kinda looks like a clock. Oof, it's just raining cosmic energy. Cosmic Shower. Cosmic, yeah. With the power, Meteor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not affected by summon duration, increasing effects. If it hits enemy damage, like you don't take damage. Falling Moon's number of hits, boost effect is not applied. Uh, consume 45 MP and all the cosmic orbs to create a meteor shower zone. Deal 740% damage three times out of the six enemies for 45 seconds. For every one consumed cosmic orb, the meteor shower's duration is increased by three seconds. Cooldown of 30 seconds. Hmm. Attack a normal monster's damage increased by 50%. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shower? Is that a Korean word? <laughs> yeah, it is. I've never seen that word before. Wild. And then we have... Ooh. Ooh, I like those swirly lines in there. I like ye. So Lunar Power. Explode the latent power of the united celestial bodies to activate consecutive sword slashes of dazzling sunlight and chilling moonlight. When Solunar Power is not on cooldown, it will be activated with Solunar Slash, Lunar Divide, or Cross the Sticks hit an enemy. When, sorry. If Solunar po Power hits an enemy using Damage Reflect, you will not take damage. Consumed 60 MP, activates consecutive Sword Slashes of Sunlight and Moonlight. It deals 6,500% damage five times and up to eight enemies with a cooldown of 20 seconds. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. Flame Wizard. Oh, yeah, we saw this already. Oh, and it's got a little bit more rocks floating there in the middle. Blazing Extinction 6. Fire and Compressed Sphere of Hot Flames. The Flame Sphere will move forwards, burning enemies within range with Rings of Flames. 1,090% damage four times up to eight nearby enemies. Four ten seconds with a cooldown of five seconds. Yeah, I don't think Blaze Wizard got, like, an insane 
deal out of this one either. Don't worry. They're gonna get some bigger gains soon. Blaze Wizards? It's coming soon, okay? Hold. Hold the ranks. Your time is soon. Your time is nigh. Windbreaker. Pramp? Trifling Wind 6. They get one of the triflers. Stream of destroys the body and minds of nearby enemies with their greatest w great whimsy. Uh, when you hit an enemy, there's a 50% chance to activate up to 5 spurred energies that randomly attack nearby enemies dealing 495% damage. There is a 20% chance to activate an enhanced spurred energy to deal 665% damage instead. Boom. Nightwalker. Okay, that definitely needs some buffs. So let's see if we got something sexy here for Nightwalkers. They're struggling out there. Only number one at almost, lit literally almost everything. But not quite yet everything, so... See if we can get them there. Shadow Bats 6. And Ravenous Bats 6. Ooh la la, looking good. Okay, the bats are looking... Looking like it's Morbid time. <laughs> Remember that one? God, I can't believe you actually said that line. Your servant's made from shadows. When you attack you with throwing star skills, there's a certain chance for shadow bats to attack with you. With you? This is a dark elemental attack. Effects are activated, and when it is reused, they are deactivated. Yes, good old toggle. Um, whenever skills are used, throwing stars hit an enemy three times. Summon one shadow bat for 60 seconds. Up to two can be summoned when attacking. With throwing star skills, there's a 50% chance for the shadow bat to fly at the target, dealing 1,200% damage, then bounce to up to three additional enemies, dealing the same damage, and then disappear. When attacking normal monsters, damage is increased by 85%. Shadow bats and bat communion three do not stack. Recover 1% max HP when it first deals damage. And then the ravenous bat. On skills that use throwing stars at enemy three times, summon one ravenous bat for 60 seconds, up to five can be summoned. Uh oh. When you, there's even more bats. When you attack with skills that use throwing stars, there's a 100% chance for a ravenous bat to fly towards the target, dealing 980% damage two times. When enemies hit, recover 1% maximum HP. Life drain. Dude, Nightwalker is just Demon Avenger who throws a sword instead of becoming the sword. When a toggle is activated, it activates, and when you deactivate it, it deactivates. Yeah, I'm so glad they specify that in the flavor text every time. Striker! Alright. This is the other bonk attack. <laughs> I thought Hero is a sword? Everyone who owns a sword is a sword, you know? Is, that f is there fireworks going off? Probably, it's almost New Year's. Thunderbolt 6, call the power of lightning to annihilate your surroundings and strike enemies in front of you. If you're slightly behind me, you're safe. You're good. Thunderbolt Flash is activated instead of Thunderbolt, which calls the power of lightning that shakes the earth and sweeps through enemies in a wide range. If you use the custom command, you can only activate a Thunderbolt Flash using the skill together with the up arrow key. I like that they'd give the empowerment, but that also make it make it so that people have the option to have it let to like let it go off automatically or if they need to specify it specifically they want to keep it for their burst or they want to make sure that they don't like accidentally hit it when the boss disappears or something that they can do that if they want to i like that they added that option to all of these immediately as well and not like just release it and then like in six months added a new cool feature of something that it should have had uh you know from the get-go Thunderbolt Flash deals 545% damage, 5 times up to 12 enemies when activated. Activate a C wave that moves in the direction the character is facing. The C wave activated by Thunderbolt Flash will not apply a cooldown. Okay, so an extra C wave. Damage wise, yeah, it's not going to do much extra for bossing. It's mainly for mobbing that it's like an extra swipe at hitting more enemies. For bossing, it's not going to do that much extra. Every six seconds. Okay, and then we have Aaron with a... What is that? It's like smooth. With ice block. Boost end hunters targeting six. Condense your power into the polearm and after slamming it down, swing it at a very high speeds to destroy enemies. You cannot be knocked back by any attacks during the key down. Boosters end skills can only be used one time in adrenaline boost. In addition... 
Beyonder 6 is permanently enhanced. Oh, and Beyonder 6 enhanced as well. Mm. Activation command down, right, down, plus attack, key down. Slam down the polearm, activating five shockwaves to deal 650 15 times with 12 enemies. Afterwards, hold the key down for up to three and a half seconds to deal 700% damage 10 times on up to 12 enemies. You can activate the key down, attack up to 25 times. You just go. Is that Hunter Spray? It's, it looks like it's the empowered version of that. Uh, when the key down ends, become invincible for one second. No, because with Hunter Spray, you're invincible during it, right? Here you're only invincible afterwards. When used during adrenaline surge, the slam down attacks combo increase amount is applied as 3x. Pass effect beyonder 6's damage is increased by 135 percent points. Uh, looks like a new skill that you can use if you want to, yeah. I wonder if it'll do more. It can't do more damage than Hunter Spray, can it? But then Hunter Spray is the safe one. That iframes you. Mobbing Tornado? The existing Mobbing Tornado has like a really big hitbox, but I, I don't know if people use it that much, right? But it, like, it does suck in the monsters from quite far. But I don't know how useless it is now. Uh, how useful it is now. <laughs> or how useful it is, I guess. It says Hunter's targeting in the name. But I don't think that they would like empower the existing skill and then take the iframe away from during the duration because instead they're making it like knock down so it, i feel like it has to be a new option of the of what people can use during um as a different boost skill during adrenaline might be in addition to this iframe well, then why would it say you cannot be knocked back by any attacks during the keydown if you are already invincible? Hmm. It's the one that you target with the axe? Okay, that's, that's, hunter, that's hunter Spray, I think, right? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see, the we'll see it used in the details soon. Yeah, down, 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 right down, and then the attack. That is the hunter spray, I think. Yeah. But this sounds like they took take the iframe away from it and just add it to the end. That's gonna make bossing a bit different. So, um, hmm. I guess we'll see how the errands feel about that one. But eight more beyond her six is damage more percent percent of percent of points in there so not bad evan what is evan getting some juicy stuff circle of thunder circle of thunder six great magic after using a merc skill using circle of thunder while using circle of mana or while crouching can activate a fusion skill without activating circle of thunder but the mp consumed will be increased to 3x Dragon Swift 6. Mirror quickly moves back and forth and attacks enemies in its path. If Dragon Swift hits an enemy, using damage reflecting not do damage. 790% damage 4 times with 8 enemies for 3.5 seconds. Cooldown of 8. And then Swift of Thunder. And Swift of Wind. Okay, so at least it's 4 skills in there. Evan has a class Resident Sleeper. Aren't Evan kind of like broken if you play them properly. I heard really good things about them. Uh, mirror resonance with Evan's power. This skill is activated if Evan uses Circle of Thunder while Mirror is using Dragon Swift. Deals 2300% damage 9 times up to 8 enemies for each point crashed into. Uh, if the same enemy uh, if same enemies hit multiple times, the final damage is decreased by 60% for each crash. Hmm. Is it the younger Mirror model? Um... Yeah, yeah, you can see as soon as he comes out of the animation, it becomes a different dragon. And then when he dashes in, he becomes like the different mirror model. I wonder why they do that. <laughs> he becomes younger and then grows older again. I guess he's moving so fast that he's like tr time traveling? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a lore reason for that. 
Oh, here he stays the same. He's faster when he was younger. <laughs> Echoes of the past? I don't know, something. Uh, Swift of Wind, members of the magic, magic while attacking with Dragon Swift, creating an explosive air current that fires sharp wind blades for a certain period of time. Swift of Wind grows based on Dragon Swift skill level. Fire five wind blades, deal 700% damage two times on up to five enemies for three and a half seconds. When attacking normal monster, damage increased by 75% points. If multiple wind blades hit a single enemy, the wind blades final damage is increased by 35%. Wait, so is this one more of a bossing one? This one more of a mobbing one? Hmm. But it says... Uh, using Mirisco using Circle of Thunderbolt while using Circle of Mana or while crouching can activate a fusion skill without activating Circle of Thunderbolt. Okay. And these are the wind flashes. Both are bossing. I thought this one was eventually mobbing. In the beginning, these things can't really kill, so... But once you get funded, those things can kill, and then you can kill big swaths of the map pretty well. That's how I understood it. And then you can turn this one also into, like, the little lightning balls, but then those are mostly for mobbing, I thought. But that's when you're super duper strong? You have to use all of them to burst? Oh yeah, if you want to set up your your big beam, right? Luminous! Alright. Is Lumi going to reclaim top mage? Let's see. That looks very rainbowy. Ooh, because it's like prism light and shit. Light reflection six. Fire powerful light at the target every time. The light hits an enemy, it will be reflected and fire at nearby enemies. However, every time it reflects, the damage will be decreased gradually. Deals 810% damage four times about to eight enemies. And, but that's not all. Endless darkness. Awaken endless darkness sleeping within your enemies to devour them. The skill will be activated when you use dark magic in eclipse mode or equilibrium magic in equilibrium mode. In addition, absolute kill six, that's ender, right? Ender six is permanently enhanced by up to 130% points. And this deals 1770% damage four times about to six enemies. Every two seconds. More DPM, baby. DPM monsters. Mercedes skills. Leap tornado, tornado six. Quickly return. When used by linking it with gust dive, it requires a higher height. Nice. Um, blah, 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 560 four times up to eight enemies every six seconds. The skill is enhanced to leap tornado six, spirit and chant. Oh, which is even more arrow shooty, which deals 635 percent damage four times and up to 12 enemies. Okay. And, oh wow, look at that. Shing! That's a whole lot of needles. Legendary Spear. Jump and drop Legendary Spears to attack enemies. You cannot be knocked back by any enemy attacks while using the skill. Enemies hit will be inflicted with a debuff that in decreases their defenses. Every few seconds the skill will be enhanced to Legendary Spear 6 Spirit Enchant imbued with the Ancient Spirit's power. The skill can be linked with Gust Dive, Rolling Moonsault, and Rith. Wrath of Enlil. 1000%, a little bit more. Four times up to 12 enemies with 100% critical rate. Enemies hit with have their defense decreased by 35 for 60 seconds with a cooldown of 5 seconds. When you use a linked skill, the cooldown is decreased by a second. Every 12 seconds, the skill is enhanced to. Oh, every 12. Damn, not every 6. Otherwise, it pretty much be every use, huh? <laughs> I guess they have to increase it a little bit to do this one instead. Wow, look at that. This one already looks cool, and this one's just even more majestic. Look at that. 1,160% damage to four times up to 12 enemies with 100% critical rate. Enemies have it, their defense decreased by 35. The debuff does not stack with legendary spear. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Mercedes already puts so much defense debuff. And then Wrath of Enlil... Ooh. Wait, Mercedes is getting... 
Leap Tornado and Legendary Spear and Wrath of Enlil and a fourth one. Let me guess, this one has an empowered one as well. Wow, it's like a roller coaster. Look at that. Beautiful. Can be linked with Charge, Drive, Strike, Dual Shot, Unicorn, and Spike, Legendary Spear, and Lightning Edge. In addition, Ishtar's Mark is permanently enhanced with this as well. Ishtar Mark's creation damage is increased by 185% points, and Ishtar Mark's completion damage is increased by 225% damage. Uh, 850% damage, 10 times 10 enemies, and attacking boss. Activate a debuff that makes the boss untouchable for 60 seconds. Uh, cooldown, 8 seconds when you use a link skill. The cooldown is decreased by 1 second, and every 12 seconds you get the big one. Damn, look at that. This one is 935% damage, 10 times up to 12 enemies with the same debuff. Debuff. Ooh, okay. okay. I'm not a definitely not a Mercedes expert, but this looks. If I was a Mercedes player, I'd be looking kind of forward to this one. Then we have Phantom. Ooh la la. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Fate Shuffle. Draw a card and protect your own fate. After using this skill, you can input a directional key to select Ultimate Drive or Ultimate Drive Fortune. Ultimate Drive. Is this the Mille Guille? Step enemies can see consecutively quick enough to be invisible. You can move while attacking continuously. Deals 450% damage three times to six enemies. During the key down, you can move with the movement keys. I hope so. And then Ultra Drive Fortune. Stab enemies consecutively quick enough to be invisible. 1120% damage eight times and up to ten enemies. Sheesh. So this one is continuous, and then this one is a non-continuous attack. Oh. So you can switch the modes on your Aegea. Hmm. Interesting. Phantom W? Oh, hopefully they can... Yeah, now they can use it as a mobbing skill when jump attacking, right? Hidden quite hard. Hidden a ten thousand damage, a ten thousand percent hit, on on ten enemies. Instead of not being able to use it when mobbing at all, because you have to stand on the ground, I think, to use it, right? Hmm. Imagine mobbing with your own skills, though. That'd be wild. And then we have Shade with the giant tornado. Spirit Frenzy 6, summon multiple spirits around yourself to attack. 384% damage, 5 times up to 10 enemies. Cooldown for 10 seconds. Um, hit. Deal that 5 times and up to 10 enemies. Cooldown 10 seconds. Wait, wait, it doesn't say what duration. How long does it last? It doesn't say here. I didn't know the cooldown was so short on that. That was like 20 to 30 seconds, huh? Blaster. Is this the bunker buster? Release pile bunker six. <laughs> There's a different effect because it usually shows up somewhere else in a map. Insert pile bunker to explode. Uh, you can use it, which activates a powerful explosion for completed cylinders. Uh, the skill can only be used when you have at least three slots in the cylinder gauge. If released public or six is an enemy using damage, damage reflect, you will not take damage. Reduce activates a direct damage six times and up to ten enemies. Direct attack damage is a number of shock waves activated are based on the cylinder gauge. We use release pile bunker five times. You can enter a state where you can use burst pile bunker. Three cylinder gauge direct attack five twenty percent damage. Shock wave six seventy. Six is the direct attack deals 11 60% damage. Oof. Shockwave A, B, and C activate an additional Shockwave D that deals 730% damage. After use, you will be overheated for seven seconds. The cylinder gauge will be set to the maximum value and you cannot charge the cylinder gauge or use release pile bunker. Afterwards, the cylinder gauge is reset. 
burst pile bunker. The heat built up for the cylinder from accumulated explosions generates multiple powerful explosions to fire at enemies. You can use the skill if you have six cylinder gauge slots after you have used release pile bunker six a certain amount of times. Burst pile bunker also ignores monsters' defenses. The burst pile bunker hits an enemy using damage reflection and not take damage. Activate six super powerful explosions that deals 790% damage 10 times and up to 10 enemies. Burst pile bunker does not activate shockwaves. After use, you will be overheated for seven seconds. Cylinder gauge will be set to the maximum value and you cannot charge the cylinder gauge or use release pile bunker. Afterwards, the cylinder gauge is reset. So this is a 100% IED. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I like the blue lightning effect. I like, I like all the incorporation of all the different color and stuff. Just the stuff blowing up, dude. Hell yeah. Battle Mage. Ooh. Okay. Finishing blow upgrade. 92% chance to stun for 5 seconds with an additional 26% critical rate and 22% defense ignore. At level 30. 666 damage. 6 times and up to 6 enemies. And 66 MP. Somebody had a lot of fun with that. Six 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 six. Okay. Battle King Bar. Oh, that's a staff sweep or something, right? Uh, summon a mysterious staff that expands freely. <laughs> Look at it, expanding staff. <clears throat> to sweep enemies in front of you, deal magical explosion. <laughs> yeah, is that what we call it these days? A magical explosion. Deals thirteen hundred percent damage two times and up to eight enemies. Then activates four magic explosion. Deal three twenty-five damage five times. I'm expanding, I know, right? Cooldown of 13 seconds. Oof. Sweeping staff? Oh, close enough. Wild Hunter. Wow, look at that. Look at that red sperm. That's like... Trying to... Why is there, why is there a red sperm in the middle? What's going on? Claw Cut. Six. Six attacks of enemies in front of you. 675, four times up to eight enemies. When you attack, recover 7% max HP. When you attack an enemy without the another bite buff, there's a 100% chance to inflict a debuff. Afterwards, when you attack, there's a 30% chance to inflict an additional another bite debuff. Oh. The Jaguar's eye? Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> it's like a red eye, right? Yeah. Um, And then provoke a six. Is that the eye frame? Or... No, this is an empowerment. It kind of looks like it, though. Provokes nearby enemies to attack it and makes them untouchable. Provokes up to 10 enemies for 30 seconds. Cooldown of 20 seconds. Wait. Did Wild Hunter just get a puppet? And untouchable? What? Oh my god, Wild Hunter, new bossing mule? First marksman, then Wild, then Wind Archer, now Wild Hunter? Ooh. That could be interesting. Klofnir stalks a big. <laughs> Stonks. But wait, that's not it. The There's two more. There's three more. Four more. Five. How many skills are being boosted? There's one mastery boost. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Five, new skill, six. Six skills upgraded and a new skill unlocked. Wait, it's provoke six. Is there a provoke five? Did they already have that? No, shut that they already have a skill and they didn't know about that. Meanwhile, he wrote one. <laughs> Don't worry, your time will come. Crossroad six. 708% damage two times up to eight enemies, 100% chance to stun for three seconds when you attack an enemy without another bite buff. Yep, yep, yep. There. And then afterwards, when you attack, there's a 90% chance to inflict an additional another bite debuff. Cooldown of seven seconds. Then there's the Sonic Boom, which I hope just hits better now, and it doesn't take like forever to deal any kind of damage. 
Seven or two, six times up to eight enemies when you take an enemy without. Uh, Forty percent chance for this one for an additional one. Six second cooldown. Wait, this is another skill. Six second, really? That's short. Seven seconds on this one. Five seconds on this one. Okay. And then Jaguar Soul. The Hollow Beauty with the Jaguar Soul removes all buffs from enemies and binds them. Um, skibbity bub, 90 second, yeah, damage reflect, we get all that. 445, 12 times, and up to 10 enemies. Enemies hit will be bound for 10 seconds. The bind duration increases up to 100% based on damage, yeah. When you attack, there's a 100% chance to inflict the another bite debuff. Oh, damn, so you just... Yo, that's a cool ass animation, man. This is like one of those old, like, race car decals, you know, like a giant... Like a yellow bird, or a, or be like a phoenix, or be like a blue tiger, or like a lightning bird, you know? Hexa combo orb, hexa final attack, and hexa enrage, like in the same one, yeah. Oh, this one. Flash rain six. Use the essence of resistance technology. Only can use when riding the jaguar, or the jaguar is not summoned. 646% damage 11 times and up to 15 enemies. Cooldown of 12 seconds. Yeah, that's the one, right? That hits so late. And then Rampage as one. Whoa. Uh, sweep through nearby enemies with great rage. Could only be used when the ja Jaguar is summoned. While riding on a Jaguar, the skill is replaced with Flash Rain 5. The cooldowns are shared. Yeah. Uh, deals 1,080% damage 9 times with 6 enemies. When you attack, there's 100% chance for another bite debuff and 12 second cooldown like this one. Wow, okay. Good stuff. Wait, that means we're hour in. I need to switch characters here. Keep the, uh, keep the refreshing the G skills alive. Xenon. Okay, pointy tip, lightning coming out of it. Triangle formation six. When attacking, there is a certain chance to launch an airframe at an enemy. The airframe will attack the enemy and continuously hover over them, attracting their attention to reduce their accuracy. The boss will just be like, <laughs> what is that shit? Uh, if you attack an enemy with three airframes attached one more time, the three airframes will attack by launching powerful plasma currents together. Okay. If an airframe hits an enemy using damage reflect, you will not take damage. When attacking, there's a 30% chance to launch an airframe at an enemy, dealing 410% damage three times. The airframe can stack up to three times. When you attack an enemy with three, activate four plasma currents and deal 240% damage four times. The airframes additional, additionally decrease enemies' accuracy by 8%. Hmm. Accuracy debuff. Is that gonna actually make attacks miss sometimes? I, I don't even know what boss accuracy. Dual blades gonna eat well when they're in parties with Xenons, I guess? They're not gonna get hit by anything now? I don't even know. Uh, mode switch. Oh, what is that? Into the Xenon verse. Mini untouchable. Hologram Graffiti 6, Penetrate. Nice. After deploying the hologram field, an energy ball is created that deals damage every time it touches a monster. If the energy ball hits an enemy using damage reflect, you will not take any damage. Create a hologram field for 60 seconds. Whenever the ball touches an enemy, deal 540% damage cooldown of 29 seconds. Mushrooms on Xenon. Ooh la. And then this one, after playing with an energy ball, it deals damage to enemies within the field. Every time it touches the field, after energy ball hits an enemy using damage reflect. Mm -hmm. A thousand percent damage and up to eight enemies within the field. And then the red one. Support. Increases the maximum HP of party members within the hologram field by 11%. Yo, where's my Xenon support on my DA? When a party member within the field avoids an attack, charge one surplus energy. Hmm. 
No, you need to, you need to join me in, in my Black Mage run. TRK, are you running Black Mage yet? We need to run Black Mage. Give me HP. Give me give me my damage boost, bro. That's yeah, so pretty shit. Mechanic. Okay, that skill looked really cool. Homing missile six. Fire multiple attack and homing missiles. Homing missiles are programmed to follow the targeted enemy to the end. Oof. You can hold the key down to continuously fire. You can move or use other skills while holding the homo missile key down. Homing missile smoke effect on or off. Right click. Oh, you want to smoke. Consume 70 MP, target up to 11 enemies, dealing 550% damage each, I hope. Demon Slayer, uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's, this guy's hangry. Look at that. He hasn't had a, yeah, it's the let's, that's what it was. It's the let's go, it's the let's go emote. That's what it is. I knew I saw it somewhere. <laughs> that's it. Demon Let's Go 6. Repeatedly press the attack key to continue to attack enemies. When attacking, you can absorb it. Oh my god, it's actually their demon slash. Like they were struggling so hard, huh? Every few seconds, demon latent power is automatically released, activating a demonic sphere, of course, and a stronger form of it. During Demon Awakening, the Awakening's after effects enhance demonic sphere. Of course they do. Demon slash 6 and demonic sphere receive the effects from demon slash first, second, and final enhancement. In addition, the enhanced demon slash during demon awakening is permanently enhanced. The enhanced demon slash during demon awakening is the enhanced demon slash during demon awakening is permanently enhanced. Boy, what? Uh, okay, first, second, 340, two times, that's six enemies, 325, three times, four times. And then Demonic Sphere, 500%, six times up to 10 enemies. Reactivation cooldown, six seconds. During Demon Awakening, the activated Demonic Sphere deals 800% damage. And reactivation cooldown is three seconds. Oh my god. And when Demonic Sphere attacks normal monsters, damage is increased by 180% points. Pass effect Demon Awakenings and Hans Demon Slash damage is increased by 100% points. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Oh my god. Well, they mean that they're getting another 100% points on top of it. Yeah, this seems broken. Oh, but that's not even it. There's also Demon Explosion 6. I'm not sure how I feel about the outline staying when the effect disappears. It makes it look like it's a technical drawing or like it's a like an alpha drawing that they like left in or something or maybe not. It looks it looks like multiple cadenas. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this skill for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky, but I feel Maybe it'll look better if it's not on a white background like that, when it's just like fading out on a colored background with a bunch of stuff going on. It might look quite different. Uh, drop dark energy, then explode it. Uh, consume 300 HP and 15 force, deal 790% damage five times and up to 10 enemies. Um, wait, does it just hit once? Demon explosion? Does that no longer hit twice? Is it supposed to be smoke coming out of the mouth? Oh, because yeah. oh, it comes from below and then goes up. No 100% crit anymore, by the way. Yeah, I wonder if some of those things were like omitted or... I mean, at this point, you have 100% crit in your character. Even as a Demon Slayer. Well, maybe not 100, but you've got to be like in, a, in the 80s or something, right? Or very easily with some hyper stats on. Hmm. I wonder if that's on purpose. It's so weird for a kit to give you like 100% crit on half of it and then not on the other half, so you still need to build crit anyway. I thought we were kind of over that. Hmm. 
Oh, we'll keep an eye on that. Demon Avenger. Oh my god, it's blue and then it's red. What the hell? Just execution, just execution, okay. Use the power of a true demon to cut down enemies in front of you. The attack speed and HP consumed will gradually increase. When it reaches the final stage, it will attack two more times. Execution 6's Exceed Overload will not be reset until Release Overload is used. That's all, yeah, that's all standard, isn't it? Um, like the blood, <laughs> red like the blood we spill, yeah. Consumes 4% max HP, deals 980% damage four times onto four enemies when attacking. There's an additional 30% defense ignore. Uh, exceed final stage, 6% max HP, 980% damage six times onto four enemies. Four enemies. Is it, is it already four now? Honestly, I don't know because only you only use this one boss in. Doesn't it only hit three? I guess if it hits four, you can use it for bo for mobbing a lot of the time as well. The buff the number of mobs hit. I th I think so. Honestly, I don't know. But like it's. I thought the I thought it was th I'm pretty sure it was three always, because way back in the day it was basically like eight or something, and this was just like the empowered version of Lunar Slash, and then you never use that anymore. But then they made this one stronger and hit fewer targets, so that and then they made the Lunar Slash hit a little bit harder, so you had like a better mobbing and a better bossing option. I'm pretty sure it's three. And there's like hypers for it, but th those don't change the amount of hits. But, I mean, you're still not going to really use it. I mean, it has a pretty decent... Um, it's two at fourth job. Really, two? Hmm. And you don't get one extra from Hyperstat, right? Four enemies. I wonder where that's going to be relevant, though. I, I mean, I guess you can use it in more situations when you're mobbing, and then the bigger hitbox, hopefully... The bigger vertical hitbox will make it a more... Reliable um, alternative to Lunar Slash in certain situations, I guess. No hypers? No. What do we have hypers for? We have hypers for the the resistance. We have hypers for the shields. We got a hypers for exceed. That's it. Dark Nell hit the little guys. All right, Kaiser. Oh, here we go. Oh, whew, look at that. Yo, is it those outlines on the sword? Makes it look like they're from, a little bit from a different game or something. It's a Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter vibes. Sword Strike 6. Slam him down. During attack plus down command. Yeah, nobody uses command skill, bro. Uh, deals 8, 30% damage 5 times and up to 12 enemies. Booyah. And then Ho. Oh, we already know that. Okay, Sword. Scratches. Will of Swords. Every few seconds, summon five copies of the swords you are using. If Will of Swords 6 hits an enemy again, the Dragon Mark will awaken, activating Dragon Blow when you hit the enemy with Giga Slasher or Draco Slasher. Okay. Uh, after being summoned, when you use Will of Swords charge, each weapon will fly to an enemy and deal 775% damage four times. During final configuration, the number of hits will be increased by one. And Dragon Blow, activate an additional attack that deals 3,800% damage ten times. Wowza! Hello? 38% uh, 30, damage extra. Oh, is there a hitbox fucked? I mean, their hitbox is fucked, yeah. Um, their, um, I tried mobbing with this skill. This skill has a bad hitbox, for sure. Oh, is it really this bad? Yeah, so you jump attack, you, you're you not you're not high enough to hit the top, and you go over the bottom one. So you're only hitting the middle here. <laughs> that is so sad. Oh, wow. That is... Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Jesus. That is just depressy taxi right there. 
Okay. A hot cup of depresso. Then we have Kane. Oh my god, even edgier, spikier. That's strike arrow. Okay. First throw arrows. 670% damage five times up to six enemies. Arrow fragments deal 570% damage five times up to two enemies. Not hit by strike arrow. Let's go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's the next let's go. This guy's got wings though, okay? It's not the same. Possess a strike arrow. Malice changes the arrows to increase their range and power. Consumes. 35 MP deals 1,020% damage eight times up to six enemies. Repossess cooldown of one second. It's a static let's go instead of shaking. Yeah, but if you look here, he looks quite different in this picture. Here he looks more like the <laughs> Demon Slayer. And we have what scatter shot? Scatter shot. Six arrows deal four forty-eight damage four times. Each arrow can hit up to two enemies. When attacking normal monsters, damage is increased by thirty percent. And single arrow for a second and later when the fire and damage decreased. One cartridge every six seconds. Hold up to three. Possess a scattering shot. Mm -mm. For seven hours, it deals 754 times. So that's, what, 21,000% damage? Attack a normal monster damage decreased by 30%. So you hit multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every six seconds, a cartridge. Ooh. Tearing a knife, six. Ooh la. Step enemies with a sharp dagger and pull it out mercilessly, dealing fatal damage. If execute tearing a knife kills an enemy, shadow steps cooldown is reset. 8 90% damage 7 times with the 4 enemies cooldown of 4.5 seconds. Chain Sickle. Oh, is that the one skill I still don't have on a button? No, what is this animation? Like, it starts all 60 FPS and then the final part is like 120 FPS. What's going on there? Look at that. It's so smooth. X Chain Sickle 6. Throw a sickle connected to a chain forwards after a large swing. Yep, yep, yep. Chain Sickle kills an enemy. Shadow Steps cooldown is reset 525, 6 times, five and up to 5 enemies, then a Fatal Strike that deals 523% damage. Fatal Strike deals less damage. Why 2% less? But 14 times and up to 5 enemies. Hmm. The Wendy Kane will be able to note possession skills. To note possession skills? What does that mean? More dragons? You can never have too many dragons. Summon them all. Cadena! Oh my god, it's the beast from down under. From down below. Weapon variety 6. Complete, it's, uh, complete the effects of weapon variety by fully awakening the flow between weapons. When additional hit is activated, enter dark side for a certain period of time and activate a quickly disappearing shield effect. When you use a new weapon, gain one stack of a buff for 30 seconds that increases all attacking skills final damage by 10%. The maximum number of stacks is equal to the number of summon weapon skills you can use. When the buff is stacked or refreshed, activate an additional attack that deals 660% damage four times with the seven enemies. When the additional attack is activated, enter dark side for two seconds and create a shield that absorbs 7% max HP. Uh, the shield can be stacked up to 25% max HP and every second 30% plus 50 of the current shield will disappear. Hmm. Plus 50? Plus 50 HP? Crash up is so annoying when I just want to transfer my pet between your... <laughs> I imagine so. Additional attack reactivation cooldown 0 0.2 seconds. Mm hmm. Fully woke. Looks like it. AB big loser? Really? But this is after a rework that you haven't had yet, right? Soul Seeker 6. Grenades 2, Grenades Essences, 432 one time on enemy until it reaches maximum number of hits or it disappears. When an enemy is hit, there's an 85% chance for the Essence to be recreated up to 7 times. 
Soul Seeker Expert at 6. When your own attacking skills are a successor, Soul Seeker and Spotlight hit an enemy. There's a 35 cents. 35 percent chance to automatically create a Soul Seeker. Primal Roar and Trinity have an additional 25% creation chance. Automatically create Soul Seeker will apply 70%, 75% sorry, of the damage of the directly created Soul Seeker skill. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Zero. Ooh la. Nice swipe. Turning drive. Rotate your body in place with the weight of the great sword, creating a whirlwind that pulls nearby enemies to your location. Consumes 11 time force. 465, 6 times, and 6 cooldown 10 seconds. Passive effect of time piece. Uh, time piece, the number of time traces created is increased by 1. The limit of on number of time traces that can be created in the map is increased by 3. Combination skill with Wheelwind 6 and assist skill with Rolling Curve 6. Speaking of Wheelwind 6, look at that. It's all red. Rotate quickly like a whirlwind. Epic when turning drive after using. Activation command turning drive after using turning drive. Consumed 13 time force per second. Deals 365% damage two times and up to six enemies for seven seconds. Look at that. Demon confirmed. And then we have rolling curve six. Rotate your butt. Just keep rotating that body. Consumed 13 star force. Deals 665 damage 12 times and up to eight enemies. Activate three sword slashes two times. So just, so six sword slashes. Uh, deals 1175% damage two times out to eight enemies. If a single enemy hit by, this, uh, by multiple slashes, the second and later sword slashes, the final damage will decrease by 50%. 10 second cooldown. Rolling Assault or six. I mean, they've got like 400 skills, right? So every single mastery node has to enhance like six of them at least. Otherwise, they'll never get there. Uh, although this is only four, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. Only four. Meanwhile, Hero is crying in a corner. Sucking on our thumb. Having a rising rage, which is, you know, swords falling from the sky. Rising, by the way. Move forward, so rotate quickly to attack and push enemies in your path. Ooh la la. 680% damage 12 times up to 8 enemies. 3 sword slashes 2 times. 840 damage 3 times up to 8 enemies. If a single enemy is hit, then reduce damage. Gotcha. Kinesis, what? Are these all the objects? Psychic grab six. <laughs> go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, what is the other one? Oh, that's the impact. Nice. Grab monsters. Defense decrease. Uh, the defense direction effect does not stack with ultimate material and ultimate psychic shots effects. Uh, while lifting monsters, reuse the psychic grab skill to lift and slam them down, distracting you by monsters in front of you. While lifting monsters, input the up arrow psychic grab to throw the monsters. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Okay, lifting control up to five enemies. Deals 1,034% damage five times and up to eight enemies, including the lifted enemies. When the skill is used, charge one psychic point. Hmm. That, that's not new or anything. I'm just, I just made a noise. Uh, enemies hit will have their defense decreased by 15% for 30 seconds. Is there a... Oh, that's this effect, right? Yeah. I believe so. I believe. Or that's the current... No, that's the effect when you uh, have something. And this is the effect when you have nothing. <laughs> uh, you just run to Mabel after a long break. We made a burning character and reached level 220. Nice. Uh, choose between two rewards, the absolute weapon and the dominator pendant. Which would be the best to choose uh, for... <sighs> Honestly, there are situations... Sorry, there are situations where the Dominator would be the better option, but f since you're asking, it's probably the weapon. Like if you're further in the game and you already know your upgrade path and you already know that you're going to be able to make a real Abzo like really quickly, uh, or you're going towards Arcane already, then you can kind of skip the temporary Abzo and then the 
Dominator will be a bit nicer because of the set bonus. You can get a nice flame on it and it has a little bit of crit and uh, two lines unique of stat from the get-go. And you need another pendant anyway to combine it with, so it's good to have like a nice pendant on one of the two slots. But for most people who are going to be progressing more slowly, the, the fake weapon will give you um, more easy damage early on. Um, yeah, and a bit more just account value for it. Um, blah, 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 slam, up throw. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then ultimate psychic shot six. Telekinesis as bullet, uh, use monsters and objects controlled with telekinesis as bullets and fire them to forwards. So that's the, that's the, yeah, the psychic shot, yeah. Okay, but at least, yeah, right, okay, now this, okay, so we're not doing like the, the paladin where that skill is mentioned twice, but then has two different numbers. Okay, here it has one number, yeah. I think I'm gonna use Rubus for a long time, but it won't lower my damage to switch to the Absolab. No, because the base attack changes, you'll have a better flame on it. And that 30% damage that you're losing from the sub bonus is worth losing. You'll get a nice flame on the, on the next weapon. And it will come with better potential that you won't have to spend any money on. For the flames, just check uh, exclamation mark progression and look at weapon flames and try to aim for those uh, for those numbers. Details are under exclamation mark flames as well. Uh, and we're gonna have defense decrease for a certain amount of time. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's just a stronger version where you're like throwing them through the map. Okay, that's it. But that's their like their main skill, so I, I assume that they're not too. Upset about that. Adele is getting order six. Command the other swords created by creation to target enemies. You can use these if, if you have the Esther swords created by creation, obviously. Uh, the other swords will only move near Adele, and if you move too far away, they will find new enemies to target. In order six, if order six is an enemy using damage for like you will not take damage, they will only target enemies if Adele is in combat. If they disappear while targeting, you can acquire other based, oh, ether. Wait, ether? Oh, wait, it's not... It's ether for us, but it's ether in Korea. Gotcha. Based on our remaining duration. 100 per summon, 60 seconds, deal 800% damage two times if the six swords can be ordered. If the target would exceed the maximum limit, the other, other sword with the lowest remaining duration will be will disappear. Uh, when the attack hits an enemy, there's a 15% chance to create an other crystal. The main skill is metal press. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> and wow, plummet. I mean, it looks amazing, but <laughs> oh, and then this. That's a little bit flashy. Plummet six. Cover yourself in magic and dive down. When used in the air, dive down and deal eight hundred fifteen percent damage. Six times up to six enemies. Ilium. All right. What is, oh, what was so exciting about Ilium? What is this green and blue stuff? Reaction destruction six. When craft javelin or craft longinus touches the crystal, it resonates and emits a destructive aura twice the enemies around it. Emits a destructive aura twice the two, two enemies around it. Gotcha. Um, Two energy that deal 1145% damage six times and up to 10 enemies when attacking a boss monster. Damage is increased by 20%. Reactivation cooldown of four seconds. Ooh. Okay, good start. Reaction domination six. When craft orb touches a crystal, it resonates. 915% damage is five times and up to 12 enemies. Reactivation cool. Four inflicting curse mark. Okay. And then Glory Wings Mortal Wing Beat. Mortal Combat. Mortal Wing Beat 6. Concentrate all of your magic in the tips of your wings. Just the tips. Then quickly flap them to blow away enemies. The concentrated magic will inflict the curse mark on enemies. In addition, Craft Javelin 6 and Glory Wings Javelin 6 Enchant Javelin is permanently enhanced. Consumes 200 MP. Activate 5 Magic Explosion deal 2200 damage 15 times and up to 15 enemies. And Pass Effect and Chant Javelin's damage is increased by 170% points. Mmm. Mmm. This sounds pretty good. This is sounds pretty good. Like I know Ilium uh, 
connoisseur, obviously, but... Twenty twenty two hundred seventy five times essentially is a better huntress prey on fifteen enemies. Um, oh yeah, seventy five times. Was that one point six five mil damage? That's a that's a nuke right there. That's like a is that like two beasts? Well, we have all the impending deaths that hit after that. You can use it every time you enter Wings of Glory, which you do four times per burst rotation. Hmm. So you'll definitely want to activate that during the, the continuous four ring then, right? <laughs> during the continuous four going off and then just slamming that down with the extra... 140% boss damage on a continuous 5, I guess. For the extra 100, what is it, 180% damage? 160, 180. 160, 160, I think. 35, 70, 105, 140, and then 160, I think. Okay, then Kali, Void Rush 6. Way too much text to read. Quickly move in the input to direction and deal 374 times with seven enemies. When attacking normal monster damage increase by 585% points. That's quite a bit extra. When used, enter dark side for two seconds. Can be used up to three times consecutively. Cooldown of five seconds. It's your good old dash, dash, dash. Then void blitz. Amplify the after damage power to send out multiple in front of you. It's got to be weirder though to like redesign and to empower skills that were only just released and already made to look pretty cool compared to other ones that might have been outdated a little bit more it's got to be harder to find like how do you make these skills look cooler without it indirectly implying that the old skills kind of look like shit but i think they did a decent job but again it's a little bit hard to tell with the gray background but it probably looks cooler with other stuff Ford Blitz with the arrow key, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ford Rush without the... Oh, no, without the arrow key, yeah. This one is with. Um, dark set for two seconds. Four images after images. So 335 damage five times out of six enemies. Uh, Color was released almost a year ago in KMS. Oh, yeah, I guess it's already... Wait. Is it only a year ago? Well, already, oh, dude, no, yeah, it's been a whole year, yeah. I can tell if a year is less than what I thought or more than what I thought. It's like, wait, it's only been a year? Wait, it's already been a year? Wait, which one? <laughs> wait, my brain can't figure out which one it is. I, I wouldn't have guessed a year. I don't know if I guessed longer or shorter. But I guess, yeah, no, I guess it makes sense. And then Chakram Split. Ooh. Throw multiple giant Chakrams. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Damage reflect doesn't kill you. Good stuff. Like you throw them out and then they return to you, yeah. Deal 500% damage, five times periodically and up to 10 enemies and each chakram can hit a target up to four times. So it's up to 20,000 damage on target with 40, 14 second cooldown. Okay, I think this is a good, good selection of skills to have buffed by one mastery node. Then who do you have? Arc. Ooh. All of our specter skills now, I think, right? Grievous Wound. Turns your body into a spear and pierce through enemies. 990% damage six times and up to eight enemies. When this attack hits an enemy, recover 2% max HP. Wait, do I already cover max HP with that right now? I don't think we do. That's the other skill. Oh, seven more minutes on this one. Did I miss the zero? Yeah. 990% damage, 6 times up to 8 enemies, 3 second cooldown. Vengeful hates damage is increased by 420% points. Oh, okay, now... Then I'm definitely going to have to start manualing Vengeful Hate. God damn it. Insatiable Hunger 6. Ooh. It's another let's go guy. He's... Oh. <laughs> it's almost like a mini Vellum dash. 
Call an Abyssal Beast to attack enemies. 980% damage 7 times up to 8 enemies. When this attacks, it hits, it hits an enemy recover. 5% max HP. Yo, we're just going to be life stealing. Oh! That looks nasty. Look at that. We're just tearing through the fabric of space. Oh! Looks so good. I like it. More quickly, move quickly and claw through space in all directions. In Floriform, the skill is changed into Abyss Charge Drive. I know. Deals 880% damage 12 times up to 12 enemies. When this attack hits an enemy, recover 3% max HP cooldown of 9 seconds. Mmm. I like the look on that. Okay, so it's just these three, not five skills like first time. <laughs> Okay, good, good visuals, good visuals. Lara, uh, Dragon Fate Eruption 6, consuming uh, uh, Dragon Eruption skill, if you enter Eruption skill, or absorption of the same element, Eruption will end, yeah. Uh, we'll prioritize free Dragon Veins. If there aren't any, they will consume the closest Dragon Vein, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. During casting, from 100% stance. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, activating Eruption skill matches Dragon Veins element. I have a eruption skill mentioned, yep. Yeah. Uh, eruption skills damage is increased by 1% per 2% summon duration increase. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Was that a thing already? Passive absorption skills final damage is increased by 20%. Wait, eruptions passive is kill- is- Activating the damage of absorption skills. <laughs> Why? Um, okay, so summon duration doesn't work, but it's gonna work? It's gonna kind of work by giving you more damage? Okay. I guess they're trying to round out, round out the kit, right? But Oh, this guy looks angry now. Look at that. Oh, never mind. He's not angry. He's happy. Yay! <laughs> Death and destruction. Woo! Eruption he heaving? Heaving river six. Several river earth spirits combine their power and become huge and swell. <laughs> they they do swell when they become huge and then they explode. That's how it happens. River will remain for 18 seconds. The swells deal 1,050% damage 5 times up to 8 enemies. Periodically, a larger swell will be activated dealing 12, 20, 8 times and up to 10 enemies. The regular swell and large swell can be activated a combined total of 9 times. So it takes every 2 seconds. Oh yeah, I saw this one. <laughs> this hitbox looks fucking insane. <laughs> but this Eruption Whirlwind 6. Look at how just how massive this thing is. They've got like a bunch of little... <laughs> Was it like eight eight little clouds? Well, like, and then three of the huge ones. Okay, because of the colors, it doesn't really look like they're blowing the air. It looks like they're like farting it out. They're just going like, because they've got instead of going, it looks like they're doing. They're, they're doing that. They're just shatting it out. There might be some uh, snow and some hail going. Um, blow, blow large breaths periodically. Yeah. Uh, create whirlwinds. Deal six hundred twenty-eight percent damage five times and up to ten enemies continuously. Up to five whirlwinds can be created. Whew. It was bean burrito night. Sue them. <laughs> uh, oh. Like how it gets all big and it just like explodes into some <laughs> all of those little cute stars, <laughs> those cute little flames. This is this is a really nice looking skill. See, like in the beginning, you like a giant, you're a giant uh, like spirit, and then when you fall down, you're just like a little spirit holding like what is it like two torches <laughs> in his hands. And like you're wearing a mask that's supposed to make you look scary, but you're probably not scary at all. I like it. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> it's so cute. Eruption Sunrise Well. 
Uh, the Sun Earth Spirits will rise and deal 1,048% damage six times out of the 10 enemies. After the attack, lava areas will be created for 18 seconds. The lava areas deal 570% damage one time and up to 10 enemies every second. Periodically, five volcanic bombs are created, each dealing 608% damage three times. The volcanic bombs are created up to five times. If multiple bombs hit a single enemy, the second and later bombs will have their final damage. Oh, decreased by 10% only per. Okay. And enemies hit with the bombs will take 195% uh, DOT damage for eight seconds. Hmm. Ho Young. Okay, we've got Iron Fan Gale 6. With an. The clone and true. If you successfully attack with Iron Fan Gale true, you will step on the enemy and jump into the air again. Deals 420% damage five times run to six enemies. Earth Ground Shattering Wave. 590 four times with the six enemies. Any new with Wind Archer? Uh, the Trifling Wind up upgraded. Mm. 594 times with six enemies. And then we have the Humanity As You Will fan. Five, uh, 858, five times up to five enemies. Boom. Okay. That's three skills upgraded that you, you use every now and then, I would say. This looks, I mean. This looks like a cool effect, I think. Mm -hmm. Oof, whole bunch of wind. Skill changes. Um, description. Serpent Mark's duration has been increased to 30 seconds. I think they're really trying to get all the debuffs to last 30 seconds now. I guess that was one of the ones that didn't do that yet. Striker Annihilate 6. The Lightning Strike related descriptions have been removed. Lightning Strike will now be displayed in the skill UI as a separate skill. Ooh. Lightning Strike. A feature has been added where if you attack enemies with the Lightning brand with linked skills other than Sea Wave, Lightning Spear, Multi Strikes, Linked Attacks, and Thunderstorm Sea Wave, a Giant Thunderbolt will strike instead of a Lightning Strike. The giant uh, lightning bolt, you mean? <laughs> the giant lightning bolt deals 380% damage five times. Auto use modes, lightning spear multi strike can also activate lightning strike. Thunderstorm sea wave, uh, wave will now create a lightning brand on enemies without it with each attack. Okay. I wonder um, why did they do that for that character? I guess it was just too much text in one skill. Fixing sure where Joker's hourglass cooldown reduction effect did not apply to party members. Okay. Rolling can upgrade three skill description has been changed. Battle Mage. Ooh la. We're in finishing blow six Legion Auras. Are oh, they called a Union Aura? Um, Reaper Scythe cast effect will be changed and the attack range will be increased by about 35%. Ooh. Look at that swipey. I like that swipey. Well done, we use Provoke. The duration has been increased to 30 seconds. Yep, Nature's Belief, Soul Resonance. Also, oh, it did already exist then. Uh, Nature's Belief, Soul Resonance range has been increased by about 21%. Mechanic Missiles, improves the multi-target even while riding a Metal Armor Human. The final damage reduction while riding Metal Armor Human tank has been removed, but the damage has been decreased from 350 to 210. Hang on. So it improves that it can multi-target even while riding a metal armor human. So you couldn't? If I damage reduction while riding a metal armor tank has been removed. Okay, so they're just adjusting the numbers for it to be more equal in mobbing and bossing mode is what it looks like. Looks like a huge nerf to the numbers, but this is probably a huge final damage that's being removed to compensate for that. One more time, the homing missile final damage reduction during this skill has been removed as well. And then uh, the skill now increases homing missile's final damage by 67% during metal armor full burst. And fixing the issue where the cast, uh, cast effect appeared awkwardly to other characters when homing, when using homing missile, sorry, during this skill. Mm hmm. 
Is DMT after reset? Yeah, should be. Uh, Xenon, hologram graffiti, fixed an issue where the effect was not visible for a moment after deploying the field. And fusion, the effect has been changed. The time it takes for the ball to be created has been decreased by about 41%. 41%? Fixed issue where death blessing effects sometimes appeared awkwardly. Fixed an issue where the images when hovering over certain skills sometimes appeared awkwardly. The changed skills are as follows. <laughs> All of the possess and executes, essentially. Kadena. Boing. Remember ready finale, the skill cast effect has been changed. The attack range has been increased by about 62%. Ooh. It's a lot. That's already a pretty big skill. Angelic like Buster Grand Finale, the cheering balloon flying up at the end of the concert damage has been increased from 465 to 495, and the cheering balloons created during the buffs damage has been increased from 395 to 425. More AB buffs. Zero. Fix an issue where sometimes character images were displayed awkwardly. Advanced rolling curve and advanced rolling assault have been changed to always activate three sword slashes two times. The interval between sword slashes activates has been adjusted. If zero using transcendent rin's prayer used wheel wind the effect appeared over okay can use a second smash but sometimes activate the attack twice weird kali void rush did not cancel while using chakram sweep and same thing for void blitz okay artifacts issue where using grievous wound while in the air would not display the effect to other characters i'm sure they'll live ho young skill effects yeah Universal Harmony Heaven Iron Five As you will, Fan Six have been added to the enhanced skills when Universal Harmony is activated. Oh, enhanced Heaven Iron Fan Gill Six. Oh, maybe this is the thing you were missing with uh with the Hoyong. Uh, deal six hundred damage to five times five enemies. We're using Iron Five Gill Six. We link to Clone or Iron Five Gill True if you successfully attack with Iron Mm-hmm. Looks juicy though. Mm. I like that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh no, that's from a different video. Ground shattering wave, looking good. Twelve hundred and thirty percent damage. Five times up to five enemies. Okay. Or this is a shares the same cooldown as the enhanced cooldown harmony skills. This shares cooldown? You can use enhanced cudgel or tremor, which leads to a pretty big damage loss. Wait, hang on, I'm missing something. Wait, for Ho Young, that's a... Why would it be shared cooldown? You know how skills have 30 second cooldown? Oh. A shared 30 second cooldown so that you just have to choose which one you're using. Hmm. Maybe they'll balance that around. Hmm. Can really choose. Oh, when the time is up, just whichever one you're using will empower. Wait, but didn't they do it with all the other empowered skills that you can't accidentally use the empowered skill unless you're like holding down the up arrow? Couldn't they just do that for this one as well? Well, I guess if you're using the, the real one, then you'd already want to use a arrow key and then arrow key and up at the same time to activate it would be, be, be a bit much, right? Oh, that's the clone true skill. Oh, wait. Huh? 
Wait, what is this then? Wait, what am I missing? Universal Harmony is activated. Universal Harmony, that's the that's the sixth thing that they activated because of the first mastery node, no? God, this class has too many fucking skills. And different modes for every single skill. Now the person activates it. Yeah. But how are the Ho Young's in the chat? Damn. That activates universal harmony, 10% final damage buff. Funny was a mod, yeah. Got to sixty twice, I know, right? Classic. Richard Flamer, Flamer is saying this is kind of bad because this could activate a different skill than the one you want. Like you probably want the cudgel every time, right? When you're bossing and when you're mobbing, you don't really care. But the way I understand it, it increases like the rotation of how many skills could get augmented. <laughs> Cuphead is getting pissed at getting to keep the PC on all the time for this event. I'm starting to really get annoyed by the event as well. Should I even bother? I know Legion block, but it's so time consuming and fucks me up. Wait, why is she mad that you keep the PC on? Like a PC being on consumes like no electricity if that's what she's upset about. You could just turn your screen off. Like the what uses the most yeah, like electricity and stuff is your screen. It's consuming you? Okay, well that's a different problem. <laughs> you just when you go to the toilet, you just run there. Time to kick her out. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get that Legion piece gains, man. Yeah, it doesn't have much to do with the PC being on. I mean, honestly, you can miss quite a few days. So if you feel like here and there, there's like a moment where you have to like choose between her and like setting up the AFK stuff. I mean, I would just set up the AFK stuff and just let it run and just be a little bit less efficient with it. That's totally fine. There's a whole bunch of the event that you can miss and you can still get the big Legion piece. So I guess take it a little bit less seriously. Your relationship doesn't have to like suffer over an AFK event, right? <laughs> kind of goes against the spirit of an AFK event. There's about 26 days. Oh, every single time it just gets more and more. I thought it was 14, then people said 24. Now I'm hearing 26. Actually, I heard that if you miss the entire event, that you still just get it for free. <laughs> I heard you could miss 103% of the of the days, and then you actually and then you actually get two lab pieces permanently. I've heard of people who cannot detect irony through the internet. That was ironic. Okay, that last part. Um, I heard two weeks. Yes, I heard two weeks as well, yeah. Exclamation mark abyss. That, that should have the thing there. Okay, so wow, a lot of new stuff. Some winners, some classes not getting as much. But remember, don't feel bad if your class didn't get everything that you wanted it to get. You'll get it eventually. You know, it's common. It's coming in waves, you know. It's like jerking off into the ocean. It's coming in waves, okay? Um, you will eventually have all your stuff empowered and... Oh my god, is this what the beam is going to look like? For reflection? I must have scrolled over this. Look at that. Monstrosity. Um, but yeah, let me know what class you're playing, what you're looking forward to. If you're happy with this or not so happy with this, remember, again, this is Tespia, test server in Korea. They have another three weeks until this hits live server, so there will, there will be changes. There will be a lot of changes. Um, 
So keep your eyes open for that. And then once Korea gets it, it'll probably be another six months after that until we get it. So don't fret yet, but keep it in the back of your mind. Once it goes live into the test, uh, into the real server, into the live server, uh, what that might mean for your character in the future if you get the ability to, um, you know, use certain skills in a new scenario in the future. You know, uh, and remember, if your skill is getting mastery boosted in here, that means that you have to get your boost note for that character to at least level forty, without including the levels from the slots in your V matrix. Uh, for every single skill that's going to be in that uh, boosted node. So um, like what the um, arc had, for example, is that we had four skills in there, but one of them we didn't max. So we had to go and equip an extra boost node to make sure that we got at least a level 40 for that skill so that we could actually level up the mastery node at all. Otherwise, you can't level it. So make sure you double check for your class as well that that's already done or at least once it hits the live server that in the next six months after that, you get all of that. Uh, figured out and all that set before the game gets that update with the um, dreamer update in summer 2024 in all likelihood all right well thanks for checking this out let me know what you thought and i'll see you on the next one